What's up, guys? It's Raf in the Raf Cave, and welcome back to another unboxing. Now, this here is going to be on the Logitech G935 wireless RGB gaming headsets. Now, the reason why I'm unboxing these guys is because the Corsair Virtuoso RGB SEs that I had previously were not very comfortable. Uh, they weighed down on top of my head after long live gaming sessions, and uh, that's not going to fly. 50 millimeter drivers sounded okay. After adjusting the EQ, they sounded better, but comfort wise is key. And when I'm doing live streaming for two, three, four, five, who knows how many hours, I don't want to think about my headset fatigue or comfort. So, on the phone last night looking for some good deals. Lo and behold, these guys are only 100 bucks at Best Buy for Cyber Monday weekend. Definitely had to check them out, read the reviews on them, look at some videos on them. Everyone says they sound great, they're comfy, and uh, they're definitely some gaming headsets. And they did some uh, nice tuning, Logitech has. So with these guys, you're going to have 50 millimeter drivers. They're custom tuned, uh, brand new from Logitech. They're going to have nice leatherette foam cushions, which are more uh, rectangular shaped in the ear cup versus a circular. I've noticed with the circular ear cups, you're able to see the bottom of my ear, which is not cool because I like to be engulfed in the ear cups. Um, and also, uh, I'm not going to walk around outside the house with uh, gaming headsets, so I don't care if they're bulky or larger, as long as they perform great when gaming, that's number one. Plus, these have some cool RGB lights. It's wireless, of course. Uh, you can custom tune the EQ settings in the uh, the G Hub app from Logitech that you get for free, and they got some uh, cool features: retractable microphone that you can flip down to uh, turn on and flip up to mute. Very cool to hide that versus having to unplug the mic when you don't want it and plug it back in. Now this works wireless for PS4 and PC. Uh, you can hook up a mobile device, Switch, or any other console with the included 3.5 millimeter. Not sure about the mic though, if that's going to work with other consoles. So don't 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 rely on that. But for uh, audio performance, you'll be able to use this on virtually anything. Uh, the US uh, micro USB, not USB C, which is kind of unfortunate, but still works fine. No worries, right? Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, let's let's get these unboxed and get them hooked up. Do a mic test, and uh, hopefully after a few weeks that I stick with these. All right, let's get them unboxed. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Black pin. Two stickers on top. One. And two. Uh, pick up the back of the box is here. On the side. Which you can't really see. But that's... As the overall box look. Pretty plain boxing, pretty plain box. A lot of, uh, there's no foam or any kind of nice padding inside. So they cut down the costs on, uh, on that, which I don't mind because I want all that money going to the headsets itself, not flashy boxes. Because, you know, why would you want to waste your money on that? All right, so we basically flip up the top. This is how it comes in the box. Looks like a couple cables are inside here. This is going to be your 3.5 millimeter uh, analog cord. And that's a three pin as well. So that's going to be for your stereo and your mic. And then the inside, the other cable is going to be a micro USB charging cable both about uh, four feet in length paperwork which you don't really care about nice little sticker if you want to stick it on your computer or anywhere else here's your headsets in a plastic baggie All right, very shiny All right.
very loose like that it's no not a lot of tension when you want to turn it lightweight they feel light to me I love those large ear cushions large ear cushions guys you see that there the shape of those guys not your standard circular stuff this is definitely more form to a, a, a human ear which is definitely something that uh, I'm looking forward to putting on my head out of the box I got a couple wrinkles on the uh, on the pads hopefully that uh, fleshes out and sorts out after more usage uh, nice padding on top very nice kind of like almost like a, 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 a balloon inside there like a Nice little bubble. I like that. Feels like there's more padding than the Corsair Virtuoso, which is a huge plus because that was the number one thing as far as comfort goes. Nice clicky. And they have some marks on the inside of the uh, the headset, so you know exactly where you want to put them. Actually, they're numbers. All right, so we got about four there. And about four there. We have all the buttons on the sides here. All the buttons here is going to be power on and off, your EQ, so you can toggle between the EQ settings. And then there's a G2 and G1, um, which can be customized in the G Hub app if you want to make it uh, any kind of app or open up something, or you can do a track forward, track back in your PC. Uh, the bottom button is going to be your mute um, for the mic, which doesn't make sense because you can actually flip it up to mute it. And then you have your volume rocker on the bottom, which is nice and loose, and it's got some grooves in here, um, so you know when you click up and down, you'll know where it's at. Uh, on the inside of the cups, you're going to have where your wireless dongle is. So basically, you pull that guy off, that's going to be your your USB stick, which doesn't have the uh, input on the bottom, it's just a wireless adapter, which will plug that into the PC. I'll take that sticker off, don't need that. And you just basically put the cup back on. Boom, just like that. And on the other side, that's where your uh, uh, removable wire, uh, rechargeable battery is, is inside this cup here, which is nice in case uh, something goes wrong with the battery, you can swap it out. Oh, which is cool. I'm not sure if you can buy uh, replaceable batteries. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. And then you're on the bottom of the uh, headset is going to be your 3.5 millimeter analog input and your charging port for recharging the battery. And as far as the head, the microphone is. That's going to be right here. See that, guys? There. There's your mic. There. There's the mic. Push it up. Goes in. Pull it, pull it down. It also extends. Pull that guy and you can bend it around. Uh, but I really won't be using this mic too often. Now, uh, I get a left and a right. So without further ado, guys, let's put this on my head. Not very bendy. I would not recommend uh, stretching this out very far past this. Okay, guys, this is uh, definitely not something I want to try to stretch out too much. Okay, pull it down a few more notches. Nice, feels good so far. All right, now these totally engulf my entire ear. I feel nothing on the bottom of my ear as far as being exposed. So this definitely, the ear cups are larger and fit over my ear much better. These has, have only almost a noise canceling effect when you put them on. Uh, much more than the uh, Corsairs. I hear less less around me. Definitely more engulfed. Top of my head feels fine. It's very good, guys. Not a lot of extra access on the sides here. All black, which I like. Very good. I like this. I like the sheen, the shininess on the sides. Match up with my uh, Blue Yeti X mic these look pretty good guys these feel good these feel real good clamping force is just enough just enough for my big head
feels good. This feels really good, actually. Just the right amount around my ear. Very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to plug these in, play around with the uh, audio settings a little bit, get that G-Hub software installed, and uh, turn on the RGB lights, and then we'll do a mic test. Okay? All right, see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm back. I've had about an hour and a half of music listening with these headphones. And uh, for me, listening to music uh, gives me a, a, a wide range of sounds to determine if the highs are high and the lows are low and the voices are great. And I want to say they do sound great. These uh, headphones have good bass. They have clean highs, great vocals and uh, everything else in between sound good. Uh, so I definitely give a thumbs up to the audio quality here. Um, like I said before, definitely don't bend them a, 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 a lot because they will uh, start to, you know, give you some uh, some resistance. So don't do that. Uh, fair warning, uh, you could make some cracking sounds uh, if you do that. So uh, I am speaking to you with the included microphone um so i don't know how my voice sounds with them but as you can see it's it flipped down once you flip up the microphone it'll mute and you flip it back down it'll unmute uh so that's cool otherwise guys uh these feel very very fine these feel comfortable comfort is great uh completely seals my ear and on the back you can see the uh rgb lights are going i have them in a breathing purple mode but you can definitely uh, set it to any kind of color you want all right so let's flip it over to the G software and I'll flip the camera here so you can kind of see what's happening so this is your uh, G hub software and you can download for free and as you can see, these are the 935 headphones and even gives you a nice animated look of your RGB lights. Uh, these are my two webcams and, of course, the uh, Yeti X, which uh, is detected, but not connected. And I have not figured out how to get this uh, connected, even though it sees it. It's weird. Anyway, gives you a nice battery life indicator. And we click on this. And this is where you can adjust the primary light strip in the back uh, of any kind of color you want. You can adjust the uh, speed of the breathing and, of course, the brightness. Uh, you get fixed cycle, screen sampler, audio visual, and also you can choose the logo itself. So if you just want to have the logo on and not the strip since no one can see you, that's really great. Uh, for me, I probably will do that. So that way you'll save some battery. You don't have to worry about the strip behind since no one can see it. And the logo you can definitely see on the side, which is good. Uh, moving down to the assignments, this is where you can actually set the, the buttons to do anything you want as far as commands, keys, actions, micros, or uh, system uh, opening and closing apps, which is really cool. Uh, the acoustics is where you can uh, adjust the side tone where you can hear yourself speak your mic volume and overall volume. You can adjust the uh, noise removal and enable surround sound. And this is through DTS X headphone 2.0. And you can adjust the volume of each speaker around you. And it's a pretty cool demo. Once you hit the uh, test surround, you'll get uh, voice, uh, uh, voice cues on the different parts of the headphone, which is very accurate, very cool. And then afterwards, you'll get a nice uh, uh, movie demonstration uh, of the way it sounds in action. And the bottom one is your equalizer, and you have some different presets here which you can choose from. Uh, I'm actually using um, a different EQ software to make these sound even better, uh, but you guys can use that one to give you the best sound. All right, that would be the, uh, the uh, setup of the G Hub. And uh, yeah, definitely give these guys a try. I'm gonna stick with them for a while and uh, do a few live streams with them on and just get the number one overall feel for them as I'm live streaming. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this uh, headphone video of the G935. 
Hope you guys have a great day. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next unboxing video or any kind of RAFK video. Take care, guys. Peace out.